What makes it easier to understand the visual mapping process is if we can use an example. So I'd like you to imagine that we're 10 or 12 people and we're part of a restaurant. We own a restaurant and what we've been experiencing just recently is a, a fall off in diners. And so what we've decided to do is have a strategy session to figure out how we can turn that around and lift the performance of the restaurant. So the first step in a strategy there would be to say, what is our objective of this, uh, of this meeting? And we would all sit down and discuss that and say, well, essentially what we want is our guests, when they leave the restaurant, to have had such a great experience that they tell all their friends and colleagues they should eat at this restaurant. So now I want you to imagine that there are 10 or 12 people we spoke about sitting in front of these boards and wanting to now participate in discussing how we can improve our restaurant. We need to pose a question for them. And the question in this instance is, in your view, what are the factors that influence diners' choice of a restaurant? And they will each have written cards, and I now have, as the facilitator in this instance, have all of the cards in front of me. And it would be, well, the restaurant's conveniently located. Phone bookings must be polite and efficient. The food must represent value for money. Service at the tables must be efficient. The ambiance must be inviting. Food must be served at the right temperature. Food must taste and must look good. The doggy bag must be well presented. Paying must be quick and efficient. Uh, the welcome needs to be friendly and genuine. The parking must be easy and safe and well lit. Uh, it must be a great experience for them to come to the restaurant. Now, having discussed uh, all of that, someone would say, ah, oh, well, that's also important that we provide safe passage back to the parking. So I put that in a different color to show how we can highlight that. So now what we've done is we've now got the ideas generation through and we've clustered them onto the boards. The next step is to say, right, what is this telling us and how do we rework this information that makes it more usable? So now having got all of the ideas out, we would now start to debate them. And the kinds of questions we'd be asking ourselves is, well, what are the, th what are the themes that are coming out of here? And what would naturally flow out of this is that there are three stages of a meal. There's prior to the diner arriving at the restaurant, the pre-meal. There's during the meal what should happen, and there's post the meal that they've had. So typically we would now take this information and resort it and say, well, if we look at conveniently located, is that something that would affect the client during the meal or post meal? No, that would be pre-meal. So we put that in pre-meal. The welcome is friendly and genuine. That's also pre-meal. The ambiance must be inviting. That's also pre-meal that we're going to worry about. The phone booking is pre-meal. The food must represent value for money. Okay, that's kind of when I'm getting towards the end of the meal, that, that I've had a good meal and I pay for it. The food must be served um, at the right temperature. Service at the tables must be efficient, that's during the meal. Food must taste and look good, that's during the meal. Uh, the doggy bag must be well presented, that's kind of post meal. And the paying must be quick and efficient, that's post meal. Uh, the parking safe and well lit, that's pre-meal, that's before we get there, I, I would make a decision. I don't want to go to that restaurant because the parking's not good, or yes, it is good. It must be a great experience. That's kind of towards the end. I look back at that meal, it's been a great experience, and then now that I leave the restaurant, that's post-meal. So we just sorted those into three stages. Now what we might want to do is say, okay, let's rework these and work them into, into how they tell a story. So we're saying, first of all, is this a restaurant that I want to go to? Is it convenient for us? Um, is the phone booking efficient and done well? Um, then will I be able to park easily? Do they welcome me well? Is it friendly and genuine? And finally, finally for the pre-meal, is the ambiance inviting? So I figure out, right, I, it must be convenient located for me. I now must be able to make a phone call and get a booking. It must be quick and easy to park, and it's safe and well lit. Then they should welcome me when I arrive at the restaurant. And finally, the ambiance is great. And then during the meal, 
Is the service at the tables efficient? Does the food taste and look good? Was it served at the right temperature? And does it represent value for money for me? So we now have mapped that into a different, into a different group. And, and then finally, now that I've finished my meal and I asked for a doggy bag, was the doggy bag looking good? Was it easy and quick to pay? It was, was it a safe passage back to the parking? So what we're saying here is the doggy bag was uh, well presented. The paying was quick and easy. It was a safe passage back to the parking. And overall, that was a great experience. So I've now got myself effectively the elements that make up a good restaurant. So what we've done here as a group now is initially we've gathered the information which we've just clustered onto the boards. Then by putting them onto the board, we mapped them onto the board so they were visually available. Then we were able to debate those ideas. And then we created some kind of logic and flow for that information. So now, having done this, I might need to take this through to, say, an executive committee to say, this is what uh, we think um, our restaurant, what's important about our restaurant. So I'll just quickly present this to give you a feel for, uh, for how that would go. So members of our executive committee, what we did is we looked at what the factors are that influence the, uh, a successful restaurant. And we decided there were three areas, pre-meal, during the meal, and post-meal. And pre-meal, we said, look at how convenient we are located, how easy is it to get to us. Can they book the table without any trouble? And is it easy and quick and efficient? Are the people polite? Can I park easily? Is there good signage? Is it safe and well lit? Then when I walk into the restaurant, am I well welcomed with a friendly gesture? And does the restaurant look nice and feel good? Is the ambiance inviting? Now when I sit down for my meal, is the service at the table quick and efficient? Do they get us the wine? Do they get us the food we want? Is the food tasty? Does it look good? Uh, is it served at the right temperature? And is it value for money? Do I feel that this was really a worthwhile spend? And then post, I'm now completed the meal and I'm going to leave the restaurant. Is the doggy bag that I've asked for well presented? Does it look nice? Is the payment process efficient and quick? Am I comfortable about now in the dark walking back to the, uh, to the parking? Is it well lit? Is it, is it safe? And do I say to myself at the end of this, this was a great experience coming to this restaurant? So let's assume now that we've identified which the key elements are. The next step in the process would be for us as the owners of this restaurant to ask ourselves the question, which of these are we doing well and which are we not doing well? So let's just take this during the meal issue and say service at the table. Is, it, is, is our service efficient and, and uh, acceptable to the customer? And we might ask ourselves the question using a green indicator. Why is it considered good? Or if we think that there are weaknesses in what we're doing, we would use a red one and say, this is what we're not doing well. So we would now start to expand on, on those. So we would do that for each of these and slowly just unpack them and build them onto extra boards. And then we might say to ourselves, what should we set as goals or what should be the ideal for the service at the table? And we would establish a measure and how we should be doing that effectively. And then finally, out of all of these, when we've got all of them done, we might say, OK, which are the most important? And we might vote on the, on the issues, which we've got to address first and most urgently. And then for the ones we need to tackle, we would then finally build an action plan. And an action plan would, would consist of what steps do we need to take? How are we going to take those steps? What are those steps going to deliver as a deliverable? Who's going to ensure that it happens and by when? And then who would actually drive this project uh, or process as the champion? And that would be a complete exercise on how we would build a strategy for how we are going to make our restaurant the best we can. For more information, contact Peter Thomas. Telephone number 082558281. Email address Peter T at participlan.co.za. All of this information is available on our website 
www.participlan.co.za